Our crack staff has gotten in touch with uh, Alexandra Hudson, commentator for Young Voices. And uh, Alexandra, <laughs> sorry for the delay here. Uh, good to have you with us as we are seeking to reset our relationship with oil-rich UAE. Um, this has a has a particular peculiar smell to it. It does, and it gets to a broader question of um, energy independence uh, in, in, in America. And it also gets this theme of, of uh, when our immediate interests don't necessarily align with our broader values. Energy independence isn't isolationism, isn't, isn't autarky. It, it's about, it's a goal that means lessening our dependence on countries that don't necessarily share our values of individual liberty and human dignity. Boy, isn't that the truth? Uh, and Alexandra, I mean, th- this, uh, you know, this has to be on purpose. I can't believe these people are really this stupid that somehow going after oil someplace else is not going to hurt the earth as much as going after oil here, even if it does hurt the earth. And then, of course, exactly right. And then, of course, we have all the transportation costs of getting it over here and everything else, where as if we went after our own, not only would we be employing people, prices would come down, whether they believe it or not. And uh, we'd be a lot safer rather than giving this uh, money to people who uh, are trying to kill us. That's a great point. I mean, Jason Kenney, the premier of Alberta, Canada, um, spoke to the senators in Congress several months ago uh, about uh, imploring Biden. Why did he nix the, the Keystone Pipeline with our ally Canada, a country that shares our values? Yeah. Um, Biden's decision to do that just made more dependent on countries like Venezuela, Saudi Arabia, OPEC nations. That and, and, and making us more dependent on them makes us less inclined and less able to criticize them for humanitarian abuses, which is problematic. It makes us seem hypocritical to the world stage. It makes us seem disingenuous in our, in our commitment to upholding individual liberty and human dignity. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, it, that pipeline would have been finished uh, months ago, and we'd be getting 900,000 barrels a day out of it, uh, which would pretty much take care of the situation. Right. It puts us in a, in a difficult situation. And it, it, again, it makes us look like, like hypocrites. And, and what we should strive for is, is integrity as a nation. Um, and integrity is all parts of the self, uh, uh, internal coherent, making sense together. So living up to the ideals that we purport in, in theory, um, living up to them in practice. And that's exactly right. Um, um, having, having allyship with, with countries that are more aligned with our values and being dependent on, on um, countries that are aligned with our values can, can definitely promote that. Yeah, and then he, he releases oil from the Strategic Oil Reserve. That's not what that's for, and it's only about a, a, two, about two week, a less than a two-week supply anyway. That's exactly right. Uh, Alexandra, uh, I'd like to stay in touch and uh, and get more information. I'm sure we're on such a short fuse here this morning, but we will be back in touch from Alexandra Hudson from Young Voices. We're in a shameless self-promotion. Alexandra, tell us what Young Voices is. Young Voices is a, a non-public, a non, non-profit uh, public relations firm that, that elevates classical liberal voices, um, both in America and around the world. And it's a privilege to, to be affiliated with them. And I'm an author and journalist. My book is called um, Against Politeness, coming out with St. Martin's Press next uh, next May. Uh, so I write on, on civility, civil discourse, and integrity. And so I'm thrilled to be with Young Voices here today. Fantastic. Thanks, Alexandra. We'll be back in touch. Thank you. Appreciate it. Alexandra Hudson, commentator with Young Voices on the U.S. seeking to reset the relationship with the UAE, which happens to be oil rich.